Ready? Hey everyone, I'm <laughs> to do that. Stop. Do it again. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Ben John, the rugby trainer, and today I'm joined with Justin Tipperick and Dan Lydiat, Lions, Wales and Ospreys legends. And we're gonna look at the tackle area. Lid's gonna talk us through the tackle, his chop tackle, how he does it, how he performs it so well, and then tips then he's gonna talk us through the speed off the deck, getting into that jackal position. Judgment. No, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, just try and get as close to the man as possible with your feet, and that means if you've got you're coming up against someone that's a stepper, you've got more chance. If I get closer in to make the tackle, if I plant too early from here and he steps, I'm going to be too far away. So the biggest thing is chop your feet, get them as close as possible, then drop your height and then project through, but keep your head up as you do it. So as you come through, I'll do it from this side. So I keep my head on. Uh, obviously on the inside as I get my feet as close as possible drop my height and then hit through but try and keep your your head up so you almost snap, snap your head back so you project through so I always like to think I'm not tackling this guy so Ben John if you go behind him I guess so what I like to do is I'm not visualizing tackling this man I'm thinking about if there's a guy behind him I want to tackle the guy behind him so as I get through it, and I snap my head back, I'll project through and tackle the guy behind him. So if I am a bit off making my tackle, so if I plant here, that gives me that extra bit to get through and hit almost like the, visualize the guy behind. But the biggest thing is stay light on your feet, get as close as possible, drop and then get through. The reason why you drop late is obviously because if it's a stepper and you plant early, I planted there, tips has gone round me. If I leave it leg to drop, then obviously I'm getting my body closer to him. There's more of the higher percentage of chance that I'm gonna make the tackle because I'm obviously body in front. I'm closer to the man, so I've got more to hit him with. So with that plant foot, you're using that to close that space, but then yeah. to power through then, so it's like a sprint down off the blocks, driving through that hit. Is that what you use that front foot for, to get close to the tackle? Yeah, so obviously, get my, my front foot as close as I can to him. And then this back one, that's where the power comes through. But remember with your arms, Sean Edwards taught me this, try and think of it like a boxer. When you throw a jab, you keep everything tight and then throw. When you tackle, you want to keep everything as tight as possible. So you don't want to be tackled with your arms. That's why your biceps can go and stuff like that. You want to get as much the hard parts of, in front of making the tackle. So keep tight as you drop. And through as well. So if you, you make the tackle from here and you haven't got quite enough connection with it, punch your arm through, you can sort of lock your hands together and complete the tackle. Nice, and with your, your big, big lad, so how do you, is it, do you do mobility exercises? How do you get so low? How do you, like when you bend down there, you've got really low, how do you get into that position? Um, yeah, obviously you try and do a bit, I should probably do more mobility to obviously work on. Just not cheap. Yeah, just cheap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get a cat for that. Um, yeah, but. Just obviously with um, doing mobility and stuff like that, it's not only just for making a tackle there, it's obviously if you can get back up on your feet, that lead into tips and stuff, the jackal work and stuff like that, getting into a strong position. But yeah, if you obviously, if you've got some big guy running at you, you know, there's a, there's a big weight difference that I would say you can't run without the legs. Um, and probably the strongest part of your body is obviously this sort of size here, this sort of area. So if you're hitting here, then you, you also look like deep power them and use their momentum as well to complete the tackle as well. Awesome, some great tips there. So what I want to do now is put this into a little drill so we can all just practice in our own time. Okay. So everything we just picked up from Lids there, he's just going to put it into a drill that he does before after a session just to get him tuned into this tackle. Yeah, obviously if you're coming up against a big guy that's just running straight, it's almost easier because uh, you know exactly what he's going to do. He's just running straight at you. So you can just obviously drop your height and hit through. But if you're coming up against a stepping guy, this is what I try and practice. It obviously, the, the key points that we talked about was staying light on your feet. And then as he's stepping then, I step into, into the tackle as well and then drop the height. But the biggest thing for people getting stepped is they plant too early. So try and get in as close as you can as he's coming up. And step through, okay? 
Yeah, so obviously you stay light on your feet as, as the tip takes a step forward. That's it, you, you drop your height, get your feet in as close as possible and then punch through. Remember, keep your arms up nice, nice and close to you. So next time, obviously, like obviously walk into it as well, like sort of jog into it so you can sort of increase. Exactly. And then obviously to make that harder, <coughs> tips will come more at speed, more step in, you'll come into it like you're doing a, a kick chase, so you're sprinting off the line, then you're chopping your stride, then you've got to make a read and make the tackle. Nice, those good drills there, but just summing up those tips again, just to reinforce those skills. Yeah, just obviously stay light on your feet, don't plant too early, then when you do, drop your height, head back, and project yourself through the tackle. Remember, keep your arms close, and then wrap your arms.